welcome to this video in this video we are going to discuss 8.05 and timer and counters 8.05 when you see the complete block diagram we have a timer 0 and timer 1 now our whole discussion is on this particular block 8.05 has two 16 bit counters or timers these can be used as a timer to generate a delay or also we can use these as a counter to counter external event which are happening outside the microcontroller. Just to understand, I have taken analogy. Say I have a now a system which is incrementing every one second. For example, now I have given the clock and it is incrementing. Incrementing is done every one second. And the same counter I can use to counter external event. For example, now I am clicking and uh, the number of product passes or number of persons moving in front of the sensor I can count. Now here I can tell the timing. For example, 9 means 9 second. Here 9 means it is not a time, it is a count. So like that, even though basically both are incrementing, now the incrementing depends upon in the first case this is a fixed time interval but second case it depends on the some output of the sensor or external event. This is a difference between how I can use the same 16 bit for a time delay as well as for a count. Looping can be used to get a delay. Also timers can be used to get the delay. For example, after one second you should increment after one minute you have to do this to get that i can have a looping when i can use a timer timer is used as a time delay generator and 16 bit timer is a input i am giving from the oscillator and event counter input pin is there for 8051 microcontroller a sensor output i can give as an input to the microcontroller it will count I know that when I say 16 bit, always it is in between 0, 0, 0 to FFF. Yes. Event represents the number of people passing through the entrance or the number of wheel rotation, something like that. Two timers are there in the 8051, timer 0, timer 1. Each 16 bit wide, one is a TH and there is a TL. Together, I can say 16 bit. And each can be accessed as a 2 8 bit resistor. I can access TH also, I can access TL also. Each counter always count up. Remember, it is not a countdown. I repeat, it is a count up. The TH and TL counted from 0002 last is FF, FF because it is a 16 bit. Power flow when incremented after all bits become 1 means FF, FF, FF. And overflow flag is set when there is a overflow or you can say count rolls over. It means after FFFFF, when you increment once again, there will be a overflow. And to understand that, try to see here. It is incrementing from 0, 0, 0, 1, like that continuously it is incrementing. Some are skipped just to show you FF, F000, last, all F, then overflow flag is set and the temp content will be 0. We can pause or you can rewind and try to understand. TF0 and TF1 bits are in TCON resistor. Whenever tier overflow flag I told now, these particular bits, 2 TF0 and one more is TF1 are available in TCON resistor. This is a timer 0. I have a higher byte, lower byte. So TL0 is a lower byte, TL0 is a higher byte, total 16 bit. I can access either this 8 bit or this 8 bit. How to access TL0, TL0 can be accessed similarly. The way how you access A resistor, B resistor, R1 resistor, etc. Similarly, it is a timer 1. I have a TL1, TH1 and these can be accessed the way how we access R1 resistor, B resistor, A resistor. 
special function resistor we have in the 8051 one is a t mod resistor and there is a t count resistor t mod resistor is a basically a timer mode resistor it is used to set a operating mode because it operates in different modes timer control resistor it is a t count resistor which is used to set the timer function for example start the timer stop the timer all these things done using the timer control resistor the format of these two resistors are given in the next slide t mod resistor i have a 4 bit for a timer 0 another 4 bit for timer 1 timer modes are set by this resistor you have m1 and m0 and t mod is not bit addressable it's very important bit addressable you can't do lower 4 bits for timer 0 upper for timer 1 and gate whatever we have here 2 bits this bit is used to start or stop the timer when gate is 1 the timers can be started and stopped by the external sources. Please try to understand this line. And when gate is 0, the timers can be started and stopped by the software instruction like set the bit TR0, set the bit TR1. Most of the time we are going to use this in our programming. Now we have another C slash T bar it is. This bit decides whether the timer is used as a delay generator or event counter. When it is set, it operates as a counter. Input pulse received from the two pins are the T0 or T1. When it is 0, it operates as a timer and count is incremented every 12th system clock pulse. This too you have to read twice and understand and coming to the modes m1 and m0 what you are writing zeros and one combination decides in which mode i am using a timer 00 mode 0 01 mode 1 like that 11 mode 3 so here i use a 13 bit timer 11 i use a 16 bit timer and 0 one zero in mode two, I use a two eight bit auto reload mode, and thirteen bit counter. Decimal, you can say eight one nine two input pulses. When I say thirteen bit, all thirteen zeros and all thirteen one is a maximum combination. When I say sixteen bit, all zeros, sixteen bit, all one. That is the FFFFF. In decimal, it is a six double five three six input pulses. You can give. And mode 2 8 bit reload, and here I have a 002 FF. And mode 3, I can use two separate 8 bit timer. Now let us revise whatever you have studied so far. 8051 has how many timers? Yes, two timers. They are used either as yes, delay generator or counter. And the 16 bit register of a timer 0 is accessed as TL0 and TL0. 16 bit register of timer 1 is accessed as yes, TL1 and TH1. The timer is used as delay generator. The counter is used to count the events. The timer is incremented by 1 every, when I say timer, it is machine cycle. The counter is incremented by 1 response to external event or input pins. T mode is used to set timer modes. T con is used to set timer functions. 16 bit timer would count from all Yes, 0002 FFF. The overflow set when? When all FF2 000. And mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. In mode 0, how many bits? 13 bits. Mode 2, mode 1, 16. Mode 2, 2, 8 bit. Mode 3, 
I have a two separate 8 bit timer. Dash bit decides whether the timer is used as a delay generator or event counter. What is that? Correct. C slash T bar. The timer can be started or stopped by the external sources when gate is 1. Started and stopped by instructions when gate is opposite 0. Revise this. Now we will discuss the 8051 timer. Now we will talk about a gate is 0. Hence input will be from the oscillator divided by 12 because one machine cycle is nothing but a 12 T states. To start the counter, I have to use a set B, TR0. To stop the counter, I use set B, TR1. Now, gate is 0 and TR is equal to 1, it will be closed. Now, oscillator output is given to the TL and TH. It will start incrementing when C slash T bar equal to 0. As a delay generator, now oscillator divided by 12, this is reaching the counter and it is uh, incrementing. This is a way how I can generate the time delay. Mode 1 to start the counter, I have to use the instruction set BTR0. Timer starts incrementing when I write this set BTR0. And it is incrementing. Overflow flag TF0 is for counter 0. TF1 is for counter 1. It will become 1 when there is a overflow. It is incrementing. And when it overflows, so it is continuously incrementing. Cannot be shown all the bit. So think F00. Last is FF, F, F. Again, when it becomes 0, overflow flag is set. It will be TF0 or TF1. Which one you are using here depends on that. In mode 2, when timer overflow, TF becomes 1. To stop the timer, TR made 0 or you can say reset. Clear the TR0 or clear the TR1 instructions are used to stop the timer. TH and TL can be loaded uh, any value before you start the timer. Mode 0, mode 1 was 16 bit and mode 0 all other operations are same only the difference is 13 bit count instead of 16 bit count and mode 0 it starts from all 0 to not all 1 because 13 bit these are the 4, 4, 4, 12 plus 1 13 bit this will be there in the TH and TL how it works same way 0, 0, 0, 0 but last is what this. After that, what you will get? Overflow. It will go to 0. Overflow flag will be set in mode 0. And mode 2. Mode 2, what will happen? In mode 2, 8 bit auto reload is there. 8 bit, I am loading the TL, and this copy will be sent to the TH automatically. I am not using any instruction, it is done by the microcontroller. In mode 2, 8 bit can be loaded in the TL, any number 00 to FF. If you load bigger number, delay will be less. If you load a smaller number, it takes more time to reach FF. A copy of TL will be loaded into the TH. After overflow, reloading from TL to TH is done automatically. Whenever it becomes 0, overflow, automatically this will be loaded back. Manually, I am not doing it. It is called as auto reload. And TCON resistor we have, timer control resistor, TF0, TF1, timer 0, timer 1 overflow flag set by the hardware whenever the time or counter overflow. Similarly, we have TR0, TR1. This is a run control bit. This is clear to turn off the timer or counter or set to turn on the timer or a counter. And we have I1, I0. These are interrupt edge flag set by the hardware when external interrupt edge detected and cleared when interrupt is processed. Similarly, I have an interrupt control bit which is cleared by the software to specify a falling edge or low level triggered external interrupts. 
counter is same 16 bit counter in mode 1 and th and tl is incremented when tr0 is set to 1 and an external input pulse not a clock it is an external input pulse that is the difference between the counter and a time delay generator when the counter overflows the time tf will be raised and programmer should monitor the tf0 continuously in the program and he should stop the counter programmer can set any initial value in the th0 and tl0 and let tf0 as a indicator to show special condition for example 100 people have come so you have to set the th0 tl0 such that after 100 count you should overflow counter 2 say uh, mode 2 i am using that uh, difference is what instead of 16 bit it is a 8 bit auto reload the rest of the operation is exactly same as that of mode 1 now i use a 8 bit tl0 is incremented if tr0 equal to 1 and external pulse should occur because it is not a internal when i say counter it is a external auto reloading is a TS0 is loaded into the TL0 when TF becomes 1. It allows only values from 00 to FA because it is a 8 bit. And you need to clear the TF0, TL0 whenever there is a rolls over. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, you can visit. And if you have liked this, please share with others. Thank you.